Use the equation of the line to answer the questions below. We have the equation 6x plus 6y equals negative 18. Now that is in standard form or sometimes it is called general form where the x term and the y term are both on one side of the equals and the regular constant term is on the other side of the equal sign. There is a very fast way to answer this question without converting it to slope intercept form. The slope is always equal to the negative of the quotient of the x coefficient and the y coefficient. So here we have positive 6 for x, the x coefficient, and positive 6 for the y coefficient. So the slope is negative 1. The y-intercept is the value that would be true when you let x equal 0 because whenever you're on the x-axis, or I meant to say the y-axis, so we'll just picture this for a moment. Here's your y-axis, here's your x-axis, and if we have a point on the y-axis, what is the value of x going to be? It'll be 0 no matter where you go on the y-axis. So we're looking for a point that has some y value and 0 for x. So you can take your equation here and replace the x with 0 and notice that the, y, the x term zeroes out and then you have a simplified equation to solve for y so that you would get y equals negative 18 divided by 6 which will give you negative 3. So that is the y-intercept coordinate that would go here in the point in the ordered pair. Now another way that students can do it, even though this is to me the fastest and easiest way, you can go ahead and solve this equation for y so that it's in a form that most students are very familiar with. The slope-intercept form of a line it is so named because when you have a line equation in this form, it is very convenient to identify the slope and, of course, the coordinate for the y-intercept. So we'll take the equation and solving for y, we'll subtract 6x from both sides. That will zero out this part right here. And so all you'll have left on the left side is positive 6y equals negative 6x minus 18. Then divide both sides by 6, making sure to divide all of your terms. 6 divided by 6 is 1. 1 times y is simply y. And we have negative 6 divided by 6 is negative 1 times x, negative 18 divided by 6 is negative 3. So notice that we got the same answers as before. Here is your slope and here is your y-intercept coordinate.